Right guys, this is uh, a quick tutorial video I've got something to do of uh, the new hack client that I've downloaded. Some people have requested it today. It's called Rubik's Client and it's available on Wizard Hacks. It's so easy to download, you would not believe it. I'll probably post a tutorial video so anyone can download this with any intelligence, any old twat can do it. So I'm going to show you the features of it now in a single player world and uh, You'll see. Here we go. Right, so I'm in creative mode, so I'm just going to switch to survival mode and show you some of the uh, features there. As you can see, there's a new menu in the top left hand corner of the page. Um, there's a number of things, number of features, page one, page two. Page three, I haven't quite worked out what some of the things on page three do. And page four gives you coordinates, direction, name, FPS. <laughs> oh, fuck off, zombies. So I'm just going to show you the first thing. You can fly. Just If you're on survival mode, on a survival server, you can fly. Just hit F. It's just like creative mode flying. Just W forwards. A bit nippier. Then just click F to disable it. You will die. Who's that? And something also interesting on this is the X-ray mod. Now this might just look shit, so what you want to do is press Control, and you can select the blocks that you want it to show. City and lava, water. All right. Hit Control again to disable that. Escape. So X-ray is enabled. Any, any, any. Um, hack can be enabled at any time there's no limitations or anything that I'm aware of and as you can see there's all the bore blocks down there there's a cunt skeleton below us fucking brick so yeah that's that Fulbright is it's quite interesting I'm gonna have to set I'll wait till it's dark I'll move on speed it's quite obvious what that's gonna do just hit G Speeds everything up. It's quite good. And you can do this. Server owners can't detect that you're doing this. So this is the ultimate griefing weapon. This is. Hit, hit that to disable it. Kill aura. If you press K, it kills players around you. And that same goes for mob aura. So what we want to do? Spawn a couple of creepers. Something. So you've got a creeper, you're on a server, you're trying to survive. Let's hit that. Let's get the sword up. Let's hit M. Just walk up to him. I'm not touching anything. It kills him automatically. Oh, you prick. You shit. You absolute... M you fucking... Alright, let's try that again. Let's try it with a spider. Something that isn't going to fucking blow up. Where is it? Oh, let's just use the case fire. Hit mob aura. Does it automatically. Don't even have to touch the keyboard. Animal aura does the same to animals. That's a bit stupid. I haven't really thought this through, but the tracer, hit Y. The tracer will trace other players on the server, so the little cross in the middle of my screen just here. Um, when other players are nearby, a line will originate from this cross to their location. It's quite cool, so you can just see anything. I'm going to come to Nuker at the end. No fall is a bit obvious. It means you are. Uh, means you don't fall. Quite simple. I don't think I need to demonstrate that. Z sneak. Not really any different, but it removes your gamer tag, so people can't see you. Oh well. Z. Climb, just hit climb, you can traverse walls just like spiders. Watch that, that is brilliant. As if you're climbing a ladder. This is all undetected on a server. It's absolutely marvellous. It's a brilliant piece of kit to have. Speed mine. Actually, it's getting dark, so I'll show you full bright when it's dark. 
Full bright basically lights everything up around you. Um, so it, it's as if there's a million torches placed around you. Let's just hit B now. That's what it does. When it's completely dark. That's the difference that it makes. Just lights up everything. When it's completely dark, that's really useful, especially when you're caving. You won't need to use a single torch ever again. Cool. Speed mine. Is it speed mine? Basically, let's use that actually. Speed mine just basically speeds up the process of breaking blocks with a pick or whatever tool you're using. Quite simple, really. The step it changes your step, and it, it just makes walking more efficient. Apparently, I don't know how how that works. No render. Oh, it just gets rid of render basically. Gets rid of FPS. Sorry, gets rid of lag. Increases your FPS. You no weather, so you can hit you if it starts raining. Ooh. Toggle down full. So let's just. Oh, we're in a desert, aren't we? Just here. So if you're just in here, it starts raining. Rain can be very annoying. Just hit you. Just turns the weather off. Turn it back on. We don't want that because it's extremely annoying. Text radar is basically. Well, I don't really know. It's only use, using on servers when people are speaking, it comes up in your corner. Chest ESP, the chest finder. Place a chest down somewhere. You got a fly mod. Yay. It's just there. If we hit chest, chest ESPV, you can see where it comes up. So you'll be able to track chests in mine shafts, people's houses on servers, all sorts. Ah, oh, equals auto swastika. Brilliant piece of kit. I recommend it. What you want is in survival mode. You want block a stack of about twenty blocks. Twenty one will do just fine. So it equals, all turns auto shoster on. Next time you place a block with more than 20 blocks in that stack, it generates a schwastika. That is a brilliant tool for griefing. It's marvellous. I mean, you can just piss people off day in, day out with that. Then that's really efficient. Look at that. Free cam, minus, pointless. Period. Aimbot. I don't know what that does. No idea. Instant mining. If you hit semicolon, it breaks blocks instantly. So this is perfect for griefing. You can just basically go like this. And it just. I'm just holding down the click button and it just gets rid of that. Piss off! So yeah, you can kill each other. Fast place. You can just piss off, mate. You can just piss right off. Let's turn kill aura on. What's that? Okay, you're gonna get raped. No, mob aura. You're just gonna get slain. There you go. This would be a perfect time to test it, actually. Marvelous. Um, where was I? Semicolon, instant, fast place. Just fuck off, leave me alone. I 
I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm not. It's not worth the risk. But will you fuck off? Cunt zombie, right. Fast place, comma. Basically, it just places blocks really fast. It's like spam, essentially. Really easy. F7 auto sprint. I'd love to try that, but on Windows 8 function, F7 does something else. It's very strange. So that leaves us down to the nuka. You will like this. You can just destroy anything with that. So let's hit H, turn the nuka on. It just breaks stuff. It just breaks it. It's fantastic. It just destroys blocks. I'm nuking right now. Imagine going on someone's server and doing this. Be absolutely hilarious. That's the damage that I just did. I'm not clicking anything, I'm just flying around with the nuka enabled. And it just removes blocks. As if they're not there. Die. So I'm just nuking this landscape, just destroying the whole thing. The whole thing is getting demolished. Easy. It's not as good in survival mode. In fact, it does absolutely fuck all in survival mode, Nuka. But if you manage to get off on a server, and you can get access to creative mode somehow. This is the ultimate griefing weapon. The ultimate griefing weapon. Instant breaking can be used as a nuker to some extent whilst griefing a building on survival mode with an iron or iron pickaxe or better. It's just really good. I love this hack client. It's the Rubik's client available from wizardhacks.com. I'll put a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the nuking. It's pretty good. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.